two men face each other on one side was the current gener- general of the werewolves Adam William Lycos on the other side was the progenitor of non entire species and the literal king of hell Victor Alokai Victor Alokai Maya was in the middle of the arena and everyone could see that she had a change her clothes she was wearing dark red pants with black details and a black lace top that only covered her breast and shoulders and she wore a choker with a symbol of a silver wolf on her neck while she had tied her hair in a ponytail Leona could see that while her grandmother might be old she had a good passion sense though her, her passion was more showy like all werewolves werewolves Though the du- duel is allowing anything but death, a minimum of respect for your opponent is required. Low blows like attacks to their private parts or taking advantage of each other's weaknesses will be seen as poor con- conduct with the public. You two are two honor- honorable warriors, so fight, fight as such. Fight as such. Maya looked at the two men and, realizing they heard what she said, she nodded in sati- satisfaction. They looked at Bulk, the werewolf king nodded. Understanding Maya's intentions, the next moment, he extended his hand towards the arena. Three branch-like tattoos began to appear across his arm. Green energy covered the arena. The shield regenerates and can withstand several hits from the king of werewolves himself at full strength. uh, It was made to protect the audience when a fight happens, but... It's not invis- invincible, so be careful. Hearing Maya's explanation, Victor looked toward the shield, and just as he expected, the shield was made of pure natural energy. Interesting. It, it can be used this way too? Can you do it, Roxanne? Yes, but since my main nature is negative, my shield will, 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 not, be sh- will not be a shield that protect, protects, but a shield that destroys. Destroys. Hmm. It would be interesting if we could find the summer world tree. I find it quite unlikely world trees prepare to hide from everyone's sight. After all, we are quite desired by beings. We don't want to be exploited, Roxanne explained. Victor narrowed his eyes at, the, at that remark but didn't reprove her words since she was correct. Those with their world tree in their hands in the form of a contract could build a pension in the future. Not to mention producing energy that surpasses even a dragon's heart. Considerations given, let's get down to business. Maya took a golden coin from her pocket. When this coin hits the ground, the fight will begin. Victor looked back at Mike Adam and got into a martial arts stance. That posture, magic one, but it looks a little different than what I know. Hmm, interesting. Maya smiled. Unlike her sons and daughters who chose the path of blades, Maya was practically a martial artist against weapon, weapons. She believed that her body was her weapon, but despite this philosophy, she, went, she was not foolish enough to believe that she shouldn't use weapons. Because of that, she also trained, trained with many other weapons. After all, in a war, one must use everything to destroy your enemy and not be limited to beasts. But it was a fact that her best martial arts were her unarmed combat. Seeing Victor getting ready, Adam did the same with his Naginata. Naginata. Seeing that two were ready, she tossed, she tossed the coin in the air and disappeared from the arena in the next moment and appeared in the stands next to her granddaughter. Everyone watched with bated breath as the coin slowly dropped to the ground as if time was running in slow motion. Then the moment the coin, the coin bounced off the ground, the sound barrier shattered in the next second. Adam had flown towards the walls, walls of the energy dome with a fist, imprint on his chest plate. Cup. He spat blood and fell to the ground on money. He looked up and saw Victor standing where he had previously, previously been in a martial arts stance while his, while his fist, fist look, looked like it was on fire. A common question appeared in everyone's mind. What just happened? They, they literally saw nothing. Not even Bulk or Tasha saw anything. Maya was the only one who could see anything but she really caught the beginning of Victor's movement. He's a bloody monster. Maya smiled widely. He used the power of power, didn't he? Say he wouldn't use his power? Thomas asked. 
wrong boy he didn't use any power his fist on fire because of the friction between the air and his fist are you saying he punched so fast that his fist caught on fire thomas was incredulously 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 correct Maya nodded is that even physically possible anna asked yes in theory but but it's obviously possible we just saw it happen Peter pointed the sun at Adam and called out, Come on, Adam, get up, let's continue our dance. Cup, cup. He spat on the ground and got up. In the motion of getting up, his whole appearance started to get wilder and hair began to grow on his body. This martial arts, this is magic one, right? Close but not quiet. This is a sketch style, a martial art she developed and modi- I-, I modified it for my own needs. For a moment, Adam, Bulk, and Maya thought that they had gone deaf. Did this man casually say that he took the strongest female vampires, martial art that took millennia to create an alter deed to his liking? Maya never thought she heard so much bullshit in her life. Maya, of course, knew about the martial artist that Scotch had developed. She even tried to learn from the elder vampire in the past but concluded that learning the martial art from her would be a disservice to Maya, who had already created, created her own style of martial arts. After all, Scotch martial arts was created to be a foundation for anything, for everything the user wanted to become. It was a, power, it was a powerful martial art that was quite balanced and capable of adapting to various fighting styles and bloodlines of vampires. However, Maya's martial arts was more explosive and focused more on speed and internal damage. Scotch martial arts was perfect. She combined several martial arts and she learned and created her own unique style that, th- that didn't require mo- modification. Her martial art was like a masterpiece that shouldn't be defiled, but this man just said he took that martial art and modified it. Just how talented do you have to be to make that possible? Maya couldn't understand. Adam and Bulk had similar thoughts to Maya. Both men knew the martial art that Red had created very well. In the past, even Bulk himself tried to negotiate negotiate for Scotch to teach, to teach this martial art to the wolves but the woman denied it saying that the men he appointed were useless. Scotch was a true teacher and she only taught her own fighting style to those she did more to. You are, you are a monster, Alfred. People tell me that a lot. <coughs> the blade of Adam's Naginata was covered in green power and soon the man leaped toward Victor. With this hybrid form, Adam's strength practically doubled. Adam swung the blade horizontally in a blade shaped arc. Energy flew toward Victor. Instead of stepping away from his position, Victor just quash- casually turned his body, allowing the arc to pass by him harmlessly. Adam was surprised by this and kept throwing these attacks, but Victor kept dodging with minimal movements. This continued until he, in a moment he stopped moving toward Victor and with a burst of speed he went to the office and end of the arena. His body started to be covered by green energy and slowly that green energy, green, energy, green energy changed into lightning. Rumble rumble. Soon he disappeared and started running all over the arena, leaving only blue lightning trails behind. Using the power of lightning against me, are you serious? As in this belief. Suddenly, a beam of lightning flew toward him and Victor dodged it. Oh? Oh? Victor watched with interest as the lightning flashed, him, flashed past him and headed toward the other side before that same beam of lightning came back at him again. Victor served again, served again, this process repeated. Each time this happened, the lightning got, got, strong, got stronger and stronger. Um, what is he doing? Victor wondered, confused. This is boring, Victor said as he touched the lightning again. He opened his eyes, his eyes wide when he saw that speed had gotten even faster and more destructive. Suddenly, instead of just one bolt of lightning gun, two came and then three and then four and the number began to increase. Whoosh! The surrounding wind started to blow harder and slowly a hurricane was starting to form. Just what ridiculous technique is this? From Victor's, Victor's point of view, every time the lightning returned to Adam, he could see them redirecting the lightning with his naginata. When the hurricane was powerful enough, Adam suddenly appeared next to Victor and attacked him diagonally. Diagonally, Victor dodged by jumping and with his innate slow perspective, he saw that Adam's center body was covered in lightning in a manner much like his vampire counterpart. Victor returned. 
to the ground and look at the Yuriga in every the narrow gaze. His eyes were moving as if he was following the movement of everything. He smiled by the end said, I understand. Victor's leg twitched and the next moment he kicked upwards, extending his leg. He kicked. He kicked. With just the air pressure caused by his movement, a hole was made in the hurricane. Not only that, the clouds themselves were split in half. Top. Really, really do have a verbal black physical body, Victor. Like, like? Victor raised his eyebrows as he lowered his leg. That is far from that hurt Adam. He looked at the man who was entirely covered in lightning. I am superior. He smiled widely. The arrogance knows no bounds, huh? It's not arrogance if it's true. Ha ha ha, that's true. Adam chuckled in amusement and slowly his, his, his expression began to, ex to change. I will show you what a fully trained wer werewolf can do. All the lighting accumulated in Adam's body started to travel toward this mud as if he were eating the lightning itself. Eh, Victor watched everything with interest. Anderson hadn't done that in their fight. When Adam swallow swallowed all the lightning, a change occurred in the fur on his body as it became it, as it became brighter and static. Electri and static electricity could be seen. Adam's hair started to blow, float around then. When Adam opened his eyes, his, his sky blue eyes were glowing even brighter. Unlike vampires who in the past had to turn to withstand their own power in their body, werewolves never needed that but were fully compatible because we were already born bonded to nature, therefore doing something like this. Adam lashed out with his fist and for a moment, so when fish disappeared and almost, almost hit Victor but his reaction time was even faster than Adam's fist. Is possible. Victor's smile grew. Be have, you have you become one with the element it itself, Adam? It's more complicated than that, Victor. My body hasn't changed the way I interact with the, I interact with the world. It has changed. Leaving that cryptic answer behind, he continued. Let's continue. He vanished and reappeared in front of Victor, slashing him. Victor used his arm as a defense, and the blade collided with his arm, producing an ear piercing. Piercing clang as if as if two metals collided. Adam was stunned for a brief moment, long enough for Victor to punch him in the stomach, sending him flying backward. Adam regained his center of gravity in the air, kicked the air to gain to gain momentum, and came back to attack Victor. Victor dodged Adam's attack with a with the slightest amount of movement, with the slightest movement, seized the opening moment, and punched him in the face. Adam pulled away and looked at his naginata. Being in such a long weapon in range of a close combat master is foolish. Adam, you're right. In part, Adam attacked in the, in, the posi, in the opposite direction of Victor. At that exact moment, Victor felt electricity strike his back. What happened? Your body really is superior. Adam spoke in shock. That should have blown a hole through you. Victor narrowed his eyes. When he attacked me with the Naginata slightly, it somehow attacked me from behind without me feeling anything. The way I, the way I interact with the world, uh, Victor thought about those words and decided to ask and decided to test a few things out. Taking a stance that Lacos would immediately recognize, Victor disappeared and reappeared before Adam. Adam punched toward Victor's face, but the next moment, Victor changed, changed his posture again. He lowered his center of gravity and punched Adam's private parts. A, num a rumble was heard, was heard all around. A cold sweat down Adam's face. You're crazy. You will really, you will, you will really attack me in such a place. Where is your honor as a man? Victor didn't care what Adam said and looked at a small barrier of electricity created where he was going to punch Adam. Victor's smile grew. I understand. Any action of being took usually needed to, gain, to get from point A to point B. For example, for Victor to use the power of lightning, he needed to use his power, manifest his power outside his body, and use, and use that to attack the enemy. From the, point, from the point where he decided to use the power until it reached the enemy, three processes were necessary. This, this was how Victor interacted with the world. In, in fact, this, this was how most beings interact with the world. This was. But Adam didn't need to do that. Instead, he can skip the whole process of manifesting energy and use it directly to attack the enemy. 
while Victor was doing these three things, Adam was only doing two. Was only doing two. And it may seem insignificant, but this is a significant advantage in a, in a high level fight where any second can be decisive. Can be decisive. An example of this was what happened in the previous con confronta confrontation. Victor would have dis destroyed Adam's balls. But the man in milliseconds created a protection for them. What is the area? What is the area of influence? Up to how many meters can he use this? This man start, started working at high high speed. Victor knew very well that it couldn't be used from very far away. It didn't matter if he could use if he could skip some processes or not. The energy needed needed to come from somewhere, and the process of money of manifesting energy was essential for that. So oh, it was safe to say that Adam could interact with the world in differently just a few meters around him. But more than that, he needed to manifest the energy. Victor grinned wi widely. He felt like he was fighting to Adams. One was visible while the other wasn't. Interesting. Very interesting indeed. Can, can all wolves do this? I mean, the wolves keep him processing, etc. Have you figured it out already? Damn geniuses. Adam granted in disbelief. Then I answer this question. Everyone can do this. Only I can. How a werewolf develops their inter internal energy is unique to each one. We see this is quite educational. Suddenly a punching bag of ice appeared. And Victor positioned himself and started a punching and, and started punching it a few times. He he tried to focus on the feeling of when he'd been attacked. Remembered what he saw with his dragon eyes and tried to imitate it. Something like this. Push, push. Victor clearly attacked on the right, but the hole appeared on the left side of the punch bag. No, that's not how we did it. I just attacked simultaneously. Should I use lightning power? But how do I cut off the process of manifesting energy? Rumble, rumble. Victor's body was covered by lightning, and he attacked the punching bag again. This time, the result was a little more similar, similar but still pretty bad by Victor's standards. Adam looked at the punching bag in disbelief looked mm, a little better. Ah, this is hard. Although I have full compatibility with my lighting, I couldn't, I can't fully mimic it. In theory, Victor was no different from how the wolves described themselves. Described themselves. Since he was reborn through Roxanne, he's bur he was very bonded with nature. So in a, in a way, his body could also be called a werewolf-like body now. That how did he attack in the opposite direction yet the first landed be and the piece landed behind me? That doesn't make any sense. Victor had decided to he needed, he needed to fight Adam to understand understand. While Victor was lost in thought. At Adam Adam was recovering from his shock. A little better. A little better? It took him several years to do what you did just did in a few seconds. Victor's mantras monstrous talent for combat made him very depressed. Adam came to wonder what was the reason for this duel. Was it to make Victor, Victor stronger or for the honor of his daughter? Adam look, looked at his daughter who was looking, looking at Victor with a look of adoration and excitement. He saw that she was taking animatedly with Maya and completely ignored him. Somehow Adam felt that felt the effort wasn't worth it. What's the use of him? Fighting if his daughter didn't support him, Adam said parent at that point. Quack! Tap na. Sakunala mo na kampota.